Hi everybody, it's Joe Krug from FinSuite. In this video, we're going over the FinSuite CMS library for Webflow. We're in the docs going through the get started section. Let's get started. In this video, we're going over the very basics of the library. We are going over the steps that you need to take no matter which component you are going to work with. Let's jump in and go with the very first step of adding the library to the page. This right here is not a live hosted file. This is a sample fake URL. When we launch this library, you're going to have a real hosted script file that you can use on your site. We need to add this library script file to the build so that we can access all the confusing JavaScript that we wrote at FinSuite with these easy to use components. So this right here is essentially a whole bunch of confusing code that you never need to understand. You only need to understand the more simple interface in these components that we have built for you. So after this is on here, we have a whole bunch of powerful things waiting for us. And right under that, we're going to put our own script where we will tell that library what we're actually going to do. What components are we using? What lists are we going to use them on? And that's what this next script is for. If you are putting it in the body, we're going to follow this code block. If you have no reason to put it in the head, please go ahead, use this code in the body. If you need to put it in the head, you need to add this code. We're going to go through the difference. There's only one line difference between body and head. We'll go through those and explain why there is a difference. All right, so you're going in the body, this is recommended, and the very first thing we have to do is run a function. This is an immediately invoked or self-invoked function that executes right away. When this is seen on the page, it's going to run. It's not waiting for anything, it's not listening for anything, it is just going to do it. So we're gonna do it, and the first thing we're gonna do is create a new instance of the library. A new instance is a new instance, a new version, a new, a new one, a new collection list that we're going to work with. And this is where we define the collection list we're working with that we will then add components to. So the first thing we do is create a new FS library. This text right here is not something you can change. You cannot customize, you cannot edit it. It is a new FS library. What is the class of your collection list? That's what we're targeting. We are telling the library, this is the collection list we're working for. So this is the blog post list, and we're creating a new instance of the blog post list. Where does this class go? Good question. Let's go and look at a view inside Navigator. We have the collection list wrapper, the collection list, and a collection item inside a dynamic list. The list wrapper, we don't care about. The collection item, we don't care about. We care about that middle item, the collection list element. And that's where we're going to put our important class of blog post list. So blog post list would be applied to collection list. And then up here in our new instance, we're targeting that collection list. And then we're going to store all of this new instance information in a variable called custom blog posts and custom blog posts can now be used later on in the code when we go and run components. So instead of typing all this out again, as we jump into the components, we're only going to need to reference this because this references this. Cool, and that's it. That is really the basics and the, the core understanding you need in order to set your page up to accept these components. Awesome. Now let's talk about if you need it in the head. Let's say you need this to run in the head for whatever reason. Maybe you're using add classes, it's happening somewhere in the hero and you need this to execute right away. So you need your code in the head, not a problem. The FNSuite CMS library has no dependencies, it doesn't need jQuery, so we can put this in the head without an issue. The only thing that we have to change is this first line. This is the line that we need when using the FNSuite CMS library in the head. 
This is the line we need when using in the body. What's the difference? This is an immediately self-invoked function. It happens right away when it's read in the body. This in the head needs to wait until the DOM is loaded until it runs the function. We are listening for the DOM content loaded and then we're going to run our function. We have to wait for the DOM to load. We have to wait for it to load because we are accessing elements in the DOM. So imagine the page reading this code it's then going to look in the DOM for what we're referencing, but it doesn't even exist yet because the DOM hasn't loaded. So we have to wait for that DOM to load. Once we have our elements on the page, once we have that collection list on the page, then we can go ahead and run the library. So that is the core difference here that we have to wait for this to load here inside the head. Let's go through the code explanation together. We went through all of these terms and topics earlier in this video, but let's go through them one more time and make sure it's super clear what's going on here. Custom blog posts. This is the variable that we created to store our library instance. We are now going to be able to use this later on to run our components. New FS library. This is how we create that new instance. It's saying, hey, this is a new version of a dynamic list that we're going to run components on. And we want to put it on the blog post list, which is this middle item here. Not the list wrapper, not the item, it's the collection list. And then after we have that instance and stored in a variable, we can add components. Continue watching, we're going to go into the next video and talk about how to actually use the FN Suite CMS library. That's FN Suite.